Hi, I'm Corporal Edward Flores. I'm with the Cumnor County Sheriff's Office Canine Unit. Our canines are, uh, have been proven to be a valuable tool to law enforcement. Uh, they locate uh, explosive devices, firearms, and narcotics, and we also assist uh, other units uh, with like search warrants, and also the dogs are being uh, deployed in our, our, our school system and all that, and helping them keep safe from uh, having any type of explosive devices, firearms, or narcotics get into the school system. Um, our canine unit right now has uh, seven canine teams. Uh, we have three uh, explosive detection dog teams and four narcotics patrol dog teams. Our, our newest team member that we have is uh, Deputy Kyle Frankham and his dog uh, canine Hugo. Hugo's a two-year-old uh, German Shepherd. Uh, he was imported from Czechoslovakia. Deputy uh, Frankham and Hugo have uh, undergone uh, extensive training, uh, explosive dog training. They went through a, a basic school and after their basic school, they both had, had uh, certified with the International Police Work Dog Association. Our, our, our basic school uh, is normally, uh, we'll have, they have to undergo at least, uh, as a minimum, 400 hours of training to a maximum of 500 hours of training. And depending on uh, what field the dog is going into is either explosive detection or narcotics detection. Uh, dogs were trained in their own specific odor uh, detection. And with our uh, nar narcotics patrol dogs, they also have additional uh, training where they, uh, they train to uh, track and trail suspects, lost, lost persons, also to find items uh, containing uh, human odor that, that could be uh, linked to a crime scene. And um, they also do the, the narcotics detection, which uh, uh, assist other law enforcement agencies along with uh, uh, our deputies on the road as far as uh, locating narcotics on the vehicle stops. Our dogs are, uh, are with us uh, 24 hours a day and there's like uh, really no two days that are exactly the same but there's, there's certain things that, that our uh, canine teams have to do uh, uh, during the daytime. Um, both the, our bomb, uh, our uh, explosive detection dog teams and our narcotics uh, detection dog teams go to our, our school system, uh, area schools, uh, doing searches. Our explosive detection dog teams uh, are looking for explosive odors or any type of uh, firearms odors that uh, possibly could be within the school system. Our narcotics detection dogs, they're uh, there to locate narcotics and try to uh, deter any uh, narcotics entering into our school system. Also, uh, our narcotics detection dogs, we also do uh, searches of our jail uh, to ensure that there's no narcotics getting into uh, our jail. Uh, we also uh, respond to uh, alarm calls, uh, business robberies, uh, missing uh, loss of uh, children, missing elderly. Uh, we also have to track and trail um, suspects that are trying to flee from a crime scene, uh, doing search warrants and uh, narcotic searches on vehicle stops, and also uh, assisting any other uh, agency that uh, requests our needs. Uh, the canine I have right now happens to be my third dog. Um, I've been with the Sheriff's uh, Canine Unit since 2003 and it's always a, a, a great joy to, uh, when you initially start training a dog, especially a, a, a green dog that doesn't know anything at all, and you start him from the basics and you bring him up to that, that level where it's consistently uh, making a difference as far as locating either the narcotics odor, finding suspects, uh, finding lost people, things like that. Uh, those are probably about the greatest rewards down there is, is, is seeing your, your training uh, working out for, for the team. Um, you can go to uh, our Sheriff's Office uh, website. Uh, we have a lot of information about the Sheriff's Office on there.